Welcome to the Virtual Laboratory. This is the Stockroom Explorer. Each of these keys opens a cabinet of reagents, and clicking on it again closes the cabinet. To bring a solution out of the cabinet, double-click on it, or select and drag it onto the workbench. By clicking on a flask, you can select it and view its details in the Solution Info panel. The top panel displays the volume of solution. The chart and graph both show the log of the concentrations of the species in the solution so that you can monitor changes in reaction. The temperature bar and pH meter also change as solutions are mixed, heated, and cooled. Note the different information for different solutions. To obtain empty glassware, use the menu in the action bar. It's a simple drag and drop to transfer solution from one piece of glassware to another. To show how to fill the glassware, we drag the flask onto the burette. Note that the transfer bar on the bottom is active. We'll pour 40 milliliters of sodium hydroxide into the burette, so we type the amount and click pour. The transfer bar always specifies what's being poured and into what container. The stockroom has a variety of color accurate indicators. To get phenolphthalein, open the indicators cabinet and drag the bottle onto the workspace. We use a disposable pipette to put indicator into the solution. Drag the pipette onto the flask. We need very little indicator, so type 0.4 and click withdraw. Noting that the volume in the phenolphthalein bottle has changed. Similarly to pour, we drag the pipette onto the flask with the acetic acid, type 0.4 in the transfer bar, and click on the pour button. To remove an item, select it and press the delete key on the keyboard. You can also right click and choose remove from the menu. To begin the titration, drag the burette onto the flask. And there is another way to transfer solutions. Under the Tools menu, switch the Transfer Bar option to Realistic Transfer Mode. Note that the field for entering numbers on the bottom has been replaced with a scale of numbers. Holding down the Pour button makes the purple bar move across the number line, showing how much is being poured from the burette. Note the changing pH. If you are doing the virtual lab assignment as part of the regular classroom homework, there is an option of loading the homework problem into the lab. To view a problem, go to Load Homework from the File menu. This is the homework repository. Select a problem title and click OK to load it. The modified chemical stockroom and homework description appear in the Stockroom Explorer. Double click on the problem description or drag it out onto the workspace to view it. It creates its own tab on the bottom, and to switch between workspaces, click on the tab. Thank you for trying the virtual laboratory. Please let us know what you think.